That's cool, Tim. My name is Vince Cerf, uh, and I had a little bit to do with the beginnings of the Internet, so I have a couple of things I'd like to suggest. First of all, the notion that Internet is for everyone is not a new one. Please see RFC 3271, written in April 2002, titled Internet is for Everyone. Uh, second, in 2008, it may very well be that we should say Internet is for everything, because we're going to find things as well as people on the net. When the Internet was designed, it was intended to have open standards so that anyone who could follow the standards and build a piece of Internet could connect up to it. And that design practice has led to rapid proliferation of multiple implementations and owners and operators of parts of the Internet. It was designed without any particular application in mind. There was no primary application. And it was a system that permitted permissionless innovation. Just try it out, put it on the net. Nobody has to tell you whether you can or can't do it. The consequence of that is that this network is different from the other purpose-built networks of the past. The telephone network was designed and built to carry telephony. The cable system was designed and built to carry television. The internet was designed and built to carry anything digital. It doesn't have a specific application, and therefore it has lots of them. The consequence of that is that the business models that are associated with the internet don't match the business models of single purpose networks. And therein lies a real conundrum. Rick Witt and I prepared a paper called Horizontal uh, Regulation. I'm sure that Commissioner Adelstein has seen, or is it Adelstein or Adelstein? Adelstein has seen this uh, and I hope has given some thought to it. I submit to you that the internet is not something that should be regulated in the same way that the vertical regulation uh, has uh, used in the past. Finally, I want to point out that what's critical about all this is that freedom is about freedom to choose, to choose which carrier will carry your bits, to choose what services you go to and where they are in the net, to choose what equipment you use and what software runs on it, to choose what applications you want to run. All of those things are heartland from Google's point of view. We think the net needs to be open, accessible, affordable, and all those other wonderful things that have been mentioned so far, and we support this initiative.